welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge Special Edition. I am joined as always by a very, very small Guybrush 3 Boiled. You cannot see his beard from here, but he is definitely equipped with one. When we last left off, we may have awakened LeChuck. That is probably not good. We need to get off of Scab Island. There's not really very many places for us to go that we have not already been. We've been to Wood Tick. Doesn't look like there's anybody there who wants to do anything with us. Uh, so let's head to the other locations. Um, the swamp, we've already done pretty much all that we need to do there. There is a stick here. Pick it up. And I think that's actually it for the beach. Like, there is nothing here on the beach. Is there... Oh, there is something here. Is a... Oh, this is where we started... Can I, I can pick up the sign, Steaming Weenies? Steaming Weenies, 20 feet. I like Steaming Weenies. I can't pick that up. Oh, how dare you. Uh, let's talk to Fink and Bart again. Let me tell them my story about how great I am. He's back. Yeah, you can stop worrying about Largo. I did away with him. I'm awesome like that. Well, you guys can stop worrying about Largo. He's history. Oh, really? He must have finally got that nasty letter I wrote. You sure can write a mean letter, Pink. Was it all in caps and red, bold red ink? No. No, I did this. We're gonna get a ship. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named Captain Dread. Dun dun Yikes. dun. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. It's not so dreadful after all. Yeah, you know any songs? You guys know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no tale in which to ride. That was beautiful. That was not bad, I like that. Uh, we'll just do the one song, though. You got any more marshmallows? I want a marshmallow. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush. Not Girl Scouts. I want marshmallows. Can I still eat it? Probably well, not. I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me. Do we have any weenies left? Weenies. You, you call them weenies. All right, let's look. Let's go into the door here, into the shack. I, honestly, I never did anything here after I got the stick. I, I've never seen what's in here. Well, go. I can't open the door. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. What does the sign say? Wrap scallion steam and weenie hut. Place order here. Okay, can I place my order? Weenie hut. Hmm, looks closed. Close it. But nice. Nice. That's all you have to say. Fine, I wanted weenies, but they never let me have the steaming weenies. It's only 20... Oh, 20 feet. I don't have a price on there. Thinking of the sword master. No, sword teacher from Secret Monkey Island. He put his price right on the outside. That was kind of nice. So that is it for here on the beach. All we got really out of it was a song, but I think it was a song that we all like. Let's head way to the far side of the island over here to the peninsula, which is the last place that we have not been on Scab Island. Of course, they would not give us locations if it was entirely useless. So, we have to go here for something. Just don't really know what yet. All we really have here is a houseboat. Is this where Captain Dread is? See why not? Oh, can I look at look at the sign before we go into the houseboat? That is probably a very important sign. One thing about this game, though, it says, and I quote, "Captain Dread's ship charters: twenty pieces of eight, 
Inquire within. Twenty pieces of eight. I only have the one though. Oh, what am I gonna do here? All right, into the houseboat. It has been a while since we got on a ship. Are Are you sure you understand how to handle this, Skybrush? Why is it a winding path to the houseboat? Oh, he's Captain Dread because of the dreadlocks? Is that what's going on here? Oh wow, that's actually really nice for for when this game came out, those kind of graphics. Look how detailed that is. Oh, of course I like them better here. Uh, can, can I look at any of these? No? Any of the shark jaws? No, of course not. How you doing, buddy? Are you Captain Dread? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dread. Oh, what of course can I does. do for you? Of course he's got the Jamaican accent. Nice dreads? Navy dreads. Tang's mon. Can I get a ship? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, mon. No. Tell me more about the necklace thingy. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck job. Uh, I did meet the navigator. This sounds very, very familiar. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk about it. I gotta run. Not the treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, Mon. Come again. So it looks like not only do we need money, we also need to get the eye that has seen the world. We'll see what I can do about that. So how are we gonna get money? Hmm. Well, there was that one guy back in Wood Tick. Uh, one of the... Oh, crap. What's their name? <laughs> the pirates! The, the, the performance artists. They told us... Well, one of them told us that he would polish... If we polished his peg leg, that he would give us some money. Let's see if he gives us enough money that way. Woodsmith! I can push and pull the woodsmith? Why would I want to do that? <clears throat> yeah. Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Give me money. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove what? him right out of town. No, it was me. Yeah, I did you. it. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, that's... No, never mind. Yeah, that's not exactly what happened. I need wood polish. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. No, I don't want to look around a bit. I'm done here. Stuck pins in his underwear or something. I'm on to you. And Guybrush doesn't like staying around very long, so we'll just move on again. Uh, no, we'll, we'll save the hatch for a little bit here. Let's go into the cartographer's house, shop, whatever this is. Probably both. Yeah, it Hello. is both. See what Wally has to say. About me Hi, Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Yeah, he left Scab. Hey, I did it. Largo Legrand left Scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Oh, you guys were not very nice to him. Okay, now this I believe I need to be very quick for. Boom. Oh, not fast enough. Come on. Dro drop the monocle again. Mine. Oh, what are you gonna do now? You can't see. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's just get out of here. And we will. Yeah, we'll we'll save this for a little bit. Let's head over to the ship, and we can talk to what are these guys called? Men of mo low moral fiber. And actually, I need to use. Oh, we never really looked at all this stuff, did we? The voodoo doll? No, we looked at the voodoo doll. What does this say? Big whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth? 
It says here there were four pirates. Oh, we did look at this. Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. We did Mr. Rogers, this. the first mate. Mr. Rogers. And Captain Marley. They buried their treasure along with plenty of booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. Or Blinky they made Island. a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Raph Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Huh. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Right. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Okay, so yeah, we heard that already. Not fine now. Let's look at the stick. Nice. <laughs> nice. What about the wood polish? If only I could use this stuff on my lines. On your lines? What? Oh, polish his lines. That's a writing joke. Everything looks all blurry. Yeah, but it does. Okay, so use the wood polish on the pig leg. Here, let me polish that for you. Give Thanks. me money. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. One piece of eight. Now, I, one piece of eight. Can I just do this infinitely? Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Well, I'm going to do this as long as it lets me. So I'll be right back. 